The key challenge of the G20 is to link the short-term response to the crisis with the task of fundamental reform. And we need to build a robust institutional framework to underpin not only globalization, but also to address market failures. Of course, this will have a positive effect in terms of poverty reduction, and this means that we have to maintain trade and to avoid any temptation of protectionism. We have not to repeat the errors that we have done on past uh, crises. But economic freedom means also uh, to have a stronger institutional framework. It means that uh, finance has to be better regulated and better, and better surveilled. As concerns regulation, Spain has been quite proactive as concerns debate. We have a good experience in this sense, and it means that uh, we have uh, in, induced some new positive ideas. One of them is uh, to pay more attention to the counter cyclical measures, which have been uh, have had a very positive impact in the Spanish uh, situation, and which have to take in consideration also the accountancy. A uh, certain refining of accountancy could be fundamental. The other crucial point is to pay, pay more attention to consumers. I think that to address the retail uh, position is uh, crucial because finance has to serve citizens and not on the contrary. I have to say also that uh, we are satisfied by the results achieved in the G20 meeting. For example, the uh, decisions as concerned tax havens and non uh, a, a jurisdiction non cooperative has already had some uh, positive impacts in global terms. And when we are thinking on this uh, kind of behaviors as concerned the future, we are paying a special attention also to the non reduction of uh, elements dealing with solvency because this could have a very, imp a very negative impact as concerned the uh, confidence of citizens in the financial sector. Almost uh, two-thirds of the total population is represented in the group, and the group represents more than 90% of the GDP at the world level. Of course, if this representation is uh, so relevant, it means that the decisions adopted will have also have more legitimacy. And the changes in governance, I think, are justified as a consequence of of the new context in which we are living. It will include Spain, which is the eighth country in the world in terms of GDP, is justified, not only because of its size, also as a consequence of what Spain represents in terms of international economy today. The Spanish economy is quite open. The Spanish enterprises are working all over the world, and mainly as concern the financial sectors, we not only have very close relations with Latin America, but also two of the most important and relevant banks in the world are Spaniards. But also Spain has had a very active uh, position in the last few years, not only as concerned the Basel Committee, but also in the context of the European Union in the Financial Services Committee. That's the reason why we consider that the presence of Spain in the Stability Forum is absolutely justified. All in all, we have to, to consider that Spain deserves to have a role in the G20 process, and we are working to have a constructive contribution to the whole debate. Thank you.